Hi guys, it's Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. I'm here today with this piece that I have been finishing over the last couple of days and it has been painted in a custom mix of Lysentral Botanics paints. Um, there's a little bit of grey goose in there, there's a little bit of French grey as, as well as some turquoise and some linen. Um, and it's given this really beautiful blue um, blue colour that's still got a little bit of grey in it and it's still a little bit earthy as well which I absolutely adore. Um, so today I am up to sealing it. It has had about six hours dry time for the paint. You can start sealing as soon as the paint is dry. Um, you don't have to wait any specific amount of time. So I'm, I just do it as I get a chance. So today um, little man is ripping up a roll of toilet paper. So I thought I'd take this very quick opportunity to show you all uh, how I apply my finish. So today I'm using the Lysentral Botanics uh, Beeswax Polish. This is the clear. I know it looks yellow in the tub, but it does actually go on clear. This has got a beautiful smell to it. I really love the smell of this stuff. It smells, it just smells divine. I really love it. Um, I carry the clear and the original clear and the light gym peony. Um, so super easy. I've just got myself a wax brush. Um, you don't have to use a wax brush if you don't want to, but I do recommend them if you're doing a lot of waxing. They do just make it so much easier. If you don't have a wax brush, Grab yourself a lint-free cloth. I've just got a chucks cloth here that I use sometimes, uh, particularly for smaller pieces when I don't want to pull out my big brush. Um, this is just a medium. It's not a huge brush. Um, it's about the size of a 50 cent coin, an Australian 50 cent coin. Um, and today, because this piece has been painted, there's no timber or anything like that exposed, and I know that I'm not going to be contaminating the uh, wax from brushing it onto this. How do we get started? Super easy. Load your brush up. Not too much. You don't want to heap on your brush. I find just enough and you can see the difference there. You can see it there on the on the brush. Not a huge amount. You don't want too much. Um, if you prefer, grab a knife or a spoon or something and pop some onto a plate if you're having trouble just getting the perfect amount on your brush. Um, and then it's as easy as wiping it on. Now I like to wipe it on in the direction that I've painted. There's no huge difference in that. Um, that's just personal preference and that's just old skill coming through there. That's just something that I always like to do regardless of what I'm doing. Even if I'm distressing, I'll always sand in the direction that I paint. Um, and it's really just as easy as wiping it on. And you can already see, you can very easily see where I've applied that. It goes a little bit darker. And you just keep wiping it on. Don't worry, don't stress if you put, um, if you get too much on there or if you get too much on your brush. That's why we buff and that's why we um, wipe it all back with a cloth. So I'm going to apply this all over. Once I've applied it all over, I'm going to grab my lint-free cloth. Jack's cloth is fine. And I'm going to buff this out and remove all the excess wax off here that I don't want. It only takes a few minutes to wax. It's not as labour intensive as what some say it is. I'm sure if you're doing huge pieces, it is. Um, but I don't find it that bad. It's hard on your wrist because of the motion, particularly when you are using a brush. It's not like paint. It doesn't necessarily just glide on. It does need a little bit more pressure. There we go. It does need a little bit more pressure on your wrists. Um, so if you have bad wrists, definitely look into top coating instead of waxing. Um, try it out anyway. But yeah, if you have, have already have issues with your wrists or your arms in any way, um, this can be quite tiring as well. So just wipe it on, brush it on, 
not too fast. All I'm really looking for is to make sure that I've got none of the original color shining showing through. So down here you can see the original color and now where it is with the wax on it. I'm just pretty much making sure that none of that original color is shining through. And it's really just as easy. I'll just turn the camera a bit. It's just this easy. A brush also helps when you've got lots of corners like these. And when you've got these decorative edges. It just makes it that little bit easier to get your wax in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to buff, start buffing this side. Just to show you, just so you don't have to stand here or sit there and watch me do this the whole way across. I'll just give it another moment or so. And this smells so amazing. Find yourself um, an eco-friendly Novok product like L'Essential. Uh, it doesn't have that horrible chemical smell that a lot of products do. I've actually painted the insides of these draw bits as well because the drawers sit flush. Um, so, and it just keeps it that little bit neater. So I'm just going to put a little bit of wax on there. And this will also help with the drawers sliding and it will make sure that they won't get stuck. All right, so what I'm going to do is rather than continue on waxing, I'll just grab my cloth. Now I've got cloths. I just keep everything in a Ziploc bag. I keep my brush, my cloths. I've got a spoon in there because sometimes I do put it onto a plate. Um, this cloth I've used before, it's still perfectly fine to use. I've used it on a painted piece before for buffing. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your cloth and you're just going to... Oh, I didn't have very good hold of it. Fold it in half, get a really good uh, hold onto it and just start rubbing. And all you're doing here is you're removing that excess, I'll just move that away. You're just removing all that excess wax that's sitting on the top. I like to wait five, 10 minutes before rubbing it back. Give it a moment to soak in. And you can see that it's coming off on the cloth. It's getting a little bit uh, dirty and that's just from the wax. And just keep wiping. Put in some muscle. When you're buffing, it brings out the shine of that wax. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you can sort of see. You can see how shiny it's turned. Just turn it a little bit. Do you see how dull this paint is up here? And how shiny this is down here? You don't want to buff it so much that you're removing the wax completely. But you bring out the shine of that wax. And it just looks amazing. It's like buffing your shoes. You're bringing out that shine. And you're just letting the piece speak for itself. And it's really as easy as that. Um, I've always been a bit scared of wax. I've only recently started using it. I definitely don't consider myself an expert. And I still prefer my top coats like the Crystal Clear Top Coat by L'Essential or the Flat Sealer, any of those sorts of top coat. I still prefer over wax. But for a piece like this, it's not a heavy use piece. I'd never use wax on a dining table personally. I just don't think it's durable enough. But on a piece like this, I have absolutely no issues using it. I think it's a beautiful product and it should be utilised. It just needs to be utilised on the right pieces. There we go. I will continue this this afternoon. This will probably only take me half an hour or so. Thanks, guys. Have a great afternoon and I will talk to you all next time.